Good morning. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. It's a snow day here in Colorado, so I've got the snow shoveled, got the soup on the crock, got the throat lozenges ready, so I'm going to spend the day tying flies and see if I can build up the video library a little bit. This first fly is a, it's a big, dark, ugly streamer slash leech. It's called a Jonah fly, J-O-N-A-H. stands for junk on a hook. It's an art check pattern. You can tie it in a lot of different colors today. I'm going to stick with black. Any streamer hook. Um, you, know, you can tie this in fours, sixes, eights, tens, whatever you like. It doesn't matter if it's 3x or 4x. Let's see, I'm going to start by putting some lead on it. And it's meant to be a heavily weighted fly. I fish with a sink tip quite a bit so I'm gonna go with kind of a medium there, there's 15 turns of 0 0.025 and I'm gonna build a little head dam in front thread dam and one in behind And I'm not going to worry about covering that up completely. We'll get a chance to do that with a couple of other materials. Now for the tail, just got a regular old marabou blood quill. You notice the tip's been cut out of this one. It had some of that extra web, but the rest of the feather was good. So I'm going to measure it so that the tail is oh, a good one and a half times the shank length at least. This one's meant to have a long flowing tail, quite a bit more than than I would put on a typical woolly bugger. Now I'm going to put a couple of strands of flash along the side. We're going to use good old fashioned flashaboo and gold. And I only need a couple of strands. There's a lot of static electricity, so I'm just going to run that through my lips real quickly to barely moisten it. And that makes this flash a bit a lot easier to handle. There, a couple turns on each side. Now I usually trim this stuff just a little bit longer than the marabou. And when I was tying saltwater flies, some of the places I learned seemed to think that was important and it just kind of carried over to the freshwater stuff. Now for dubbing, I'm going to use a split thread. You can always use a dubbing loop. But the dubbing I'm going to use is Arizona Semi Seal. The color is numbered 22 black slash gold. That should complement the scheme on our tail. Now this stuff is all kind of tangled, so I'm going to take some time and massage these until the gold flash is all going one direction. And we'll see if my thread is settled into a flat ribbon that I can split. Yeah, it's like it needs a few more spins. There we go. And get that semi seal in between. And once the thread's together, then I can reach up and spread it out so the volume is uniform. And to kind of measure it, that's a full four finger widths. And that's about the right amount to get me from the back to the front. <laughs> I hang this thing in my 
whip finisher when I spin it so I can spin it hard and not have it rattling around or swinging. And once it's on they're good uh, tighten just pulls get some tension on your thread and it'll hold it in place and just kind of gently pluck stuff away from the thread. You see the lead showing through on the bottom? If it's important to you, just make sure you are nice and even and cover all of that up. Let's see how I did. Yeah. Now get after it pretty good with the dubbing brush and any of those gold accents that uh, got tucked under if you get them pulled out. So when you do your final little comb here, it'll be. have everything sweeping back. Now for uh, hackle on the front I'm using this uh, this Whiting American Rooster saddle. Big webby feathers and they're iridescent a lot like a magpie. There you see the reflection off of that. And I fold them as I go. Four or five turns is about right. If I go any farther, I'm just getting into hackle fibers that aren't as long as the body of the fly. So let's cut that off and save it. I might tie some size 10s or 12s where that one will still be a good fit. And build up ahead and if you wrap back over the fibers a little bit it will help them shroud back over the body. looking head but I would put some head cement on this since there's so many turns of thread on top of materials. There you have it, big black ugly junk on a hook.